Om pi se mukama O ku janga joli Sai Ogu Singabiona O Kam Jije Tata Kam Jije Jori Na Our Heavenly Father, I want to give you glory, I want to give you honor, for your blood is sufficient to cleanse, to wash, and to take away every sin. I come to you, O God, as it is written of me in the Chronicles of Heaven. Here I come, Father, to do your will. As I ascend in the courts of heaven, O Father, I agree with all the voices that are speaking on my behalf right now in the courts of heaven. I agree with the voice of God the Father concerning my life. I agree with the voice of Jesus Christ, the sacrificial lamb whose blood was slain for my sake, the mediator between God and man, I agree with the voice of the blood of Jesus and all the promises that the blood of Jesus spoke about my life when it was spilling down into the ground on the day of crucifixion. I agree with the voices of the innumerable company of angels. I agree with all the voices that I mentioned in the book of Hebrews that are speaking on my behalf right now concerning this divine assignment. Father, here I come to do your will. Jesus, let your will be done. Here I am to do what you told me, Father. I come, I come, here I come, Papa, in the name of Jesus Christ, to do your will. Silence the accuser of the brethren right now in the name of Jesus. Let mercy prevail according to your word in the book of Nehemiah. Father, remember mercy as I execute your assignment. You told me, Father, to come out and repent. Here I am to do your will. Holy Spirit, come and take over as I share this word to do my Father's will. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Can I hear an amen? If you're listening to my prayer, say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, we are still in January. Allow me to begin off by saying, Happy New Year, my friend. My name is Judith Babidier. I bring greetings from my family. I bring greetings from River Jordan Ministries, where I am sitting right now to execute this divine assignment. Hallelujah. Okay, so you're wondering what is this all about? It was in the year 2018 and I got married in my second marriage. And shortly after, I was so blessed that the Lord pulled me out of Uganda and he placed me in a different country in a country where I have enjoyed quality time with my Heavenly Father. 
I have enjoyed moments of intercession, moments of prayer, visions, dreams, so much that I haven't got such a moment ever since I was born. It's been a unique moment. And among the things that my father told me in this season, my heavenly father told me to come out and repent openly. I have made peace with God. He has forgiven me. But today I come to you, my brother. I come to you, my sister, who is listening to me today. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I repent. I repent. And I apologize for the so many people that I hurt with my mistake. I apologize to the people whose hearts were broken and wounded in my second marriage. Please forgive me for that mistake. I apologize to the body of Christ that I took through a very troublesome time. Please forgive me, the pastors, my fellow believers, please forgive me. I apologize to the nation of Uganda Please forgive me. I apologize to the children who look up to me as a role model, as an inspiration. Please forgive me, children. What I did was not right. Please forgive me. And I ask you, find place in your hearts to forgive me. And lastly, but most importantly, I want to apologize to Muchala Lukia Ntale. Forgive me. Forgive me. I don't know how much I can stress this, but I am so sorry. What I did was not right. Please forgive me. Find space in your heart to forgive me. Forgiveness is divine. I know it's not an easy thing, but I beg you, May God grant you grace to forgive me. I also want to take this opportunity to reach out to each and every one of you. If you know you hurt someone or someone hurt you, find time to walk back to that person and say, I am sorry. It is okay. It is okay to go and say, I am sorry, like I'm doing it. It is never too late to correct a mistake as long as you are still alive. That is why I want this to go in the record of my life, that I said I'm sorry. Please forgive me. As I conclude, I want to say a big thank you to each and every person that has stood with me through the thick and the thin. There are those who have loved me. They're like, I will go with our love for no matter what. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who have prayed for me. I don't know what I would have done without your prayers. I don't know where I would be if you hadn't prayed for me. I am today because you stood with me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for standing with me. I believe for the Lord to bring me to this moment. It is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you so much for pressing heaven to intervene in my life. I give God the glory. I send out a big thank you to you, each and every one. May God bless you so much. I love you. I miss you all. And I will always love you and treasure you all in my heart. God bless you. Bye.